What's going on guys? I'm back in the garden. We are underway here. We got some beautiful vegging girls here. Check it out. And we are about to hop in here. Just kind of want to give you guys an update what's going on. Um, I haven't been posting for a bit. We were dealing with some uh, family medical emergency issues and some personal issues. So yeah, we are trying to get back in the garden, get back in the swing of things. Uh, so everything's transplanted up here now. Everything's going. Everything's healed up, looking beautiful. We got some awesome growth coming in. And uh, we are starting some autoflowers right away in this episode. So let's get right into it, guys. So in the last episode, we got our smart pots in the mail and we started to fill them up with Promix HP, which is my go-to soilless mix. I then proceeded to take down my old 3.3 by 3.3 tent. It's done me good but it's time to come down. This thing is getting pretty old now. And for what I need for my next project, I need a little bit bigger. So I gotta go to a four foot by four foot tent. And just a reminder as always, if you guys need help choosing a new light for a grow tent, you can shoot me a DM on my Instagram or you can shoot me an email. Information will be down below in the description. Check it out. I'll be using all new Slim Series lights in this grow for all four tents. So to start these girls off and keep power usage to a minimum, we're gonna use only two tents, fill those up with the uh, regulars. And in the third uh, two by four foot tent, we are gonna be putting the autoflowers. So my Robin Hood genetics photo periods have gone through the ringer. Uh, they have been a little bit uh, root bound for a while and they definitely haven't been looking the healthiest lately. That is something you should consider when you are setting up a grow, that personal issues or family medical issues or something like that could arise and kind of take up your time and your attention, which can make putting lots of time into your garden harder and make more issues arise. So that's kind of why I like to go with Pro Mix and uh, bottle nutrients. It seems very easy to recover plants if they do get issues like that. Mine were pretty much stuck in Dixie cups for a while and I wasn't really feeding them very often so they definitely took a beating. But I'm going to show you guys how these girls recover in about five days. So for transplanting you could just water all these uh, Dixie pots and they would just stay together a little bit better or you could just pop them out like that as they're dry and uh, make sure your soil that you're putting them into is a bit moist and of course give it a good watering and feeding after. That's what I did here. And we got our very last light that we're going to be having in the garden and why I'm getting a new 4x4 foot tent, the Slim 650S, the flagship optic LED light. It's got the brand new LH351H Samsung Bloom LEDs and it has complete light spectrum control. So that's going to be pretty awesome. We're going to show you guys more of this in the next episode, so stay tuned. After transplanting, I gave these girls their first big blast of nutrients. My nutrients mixture was Advanced Nutrients 3-part pH Perfect, Micro, Grow, and Bloom. All three of those 5 milliliters, 2.5 milliliters of Voodoo Juice, 2.5 milliliters of B52, 2.5 milliliters of Sensizyme, and 2.5 milliliters of their CalMag. This mixture right here will fix up any plant lacking nutrients in vegetation state. And as you'll see here, the plants healed up in five days and started to produce some very nice new growth and now have completely healed and off to some vigorous growth.
So the autoflowers we're starting today are Mephisto Genetics Amnesia Autoflower. This strain really reminds me of an MI5 kind of strain back in the day that I used to love to grow. Kind of an AK-47 variant. And we're starting them in the paper towel method way. Get some paper towel, wet it, put it in a Ziploc bag, put the seeds in there, and put it on the fridge or under your TV, somewhere where it's a little warm. And we'll see these pop in about a day and get them planted. That is it for now, guys. Thank you all for watching. Until next time, guys, peace out, and we'll catch you guys later.